So let's do one of these finding the Ka of a weak acid from the solution pH and the initial concentration of the weak acid, okay? So in order to do these types of problems, you're going to have to set up an ice table, okay? So let's read what the problem says. It says, phenyl acetic acid, which is this thing here, and they give you the structure, builds up in the blood of a person with phenylketonuria an inherited disorder that, if untreated, causes mental retardation and death. A study of the acid shows that the pH of a 0.12 molar solution is 2.62, okay? What is the Ka of phenyl acetic acid? Is everybody okay with what we've written down so far? This equation wasn't given to you, okay? I wrote that down for you. You guys got to rem remember how to do these equations. So whenever you see the COOH, you know that's a weak organic acid, so it will behave like this, okay? Is everybody okay with it? Okay, wonderful. So, now what we can do is we can perform an ice table or make an ice table here, okay? So, I, C, E. And, of course, in our ice tables, liquids we don't worry about. Um, the initial concentration of our acid was 0 0.12, like that. The initial concentration of these was nothing, okay? They didn't tell us that they had any of those things in them. Okay, so we're going to put 0 here and 0 here. So, on the reactant side, what happens? We're going to subtract stuff, right guys? So what's going to be here? Minus x, right? And here? Plus x. And here? Plus x as well. So what's going to be the equilibrium? Remember the E is equilibrium concentration. It's going to be 0 0.12 molar minus x for that one, right? Here we're going to be x. And here we're going to be x. Is everybody okay with doing that so far? Okay. So, Ka, it wants us to figure out, well, what is the Ka? Well, how do, what is the equation for the Ka? Let's figure that out first. So, the Ka equation is going to be what? So, the conjugate base here, right, the concentration of that, times the concentration of the hydronium ion. Is everybody okay with that? You guys remember? You guys remember about the, this one? Okay. Not all of you guys. Okay. C6H5, CH2, COO minus, like that. Okay. Times H3O plus. Concentration like that. Does that make sense? Okay, and then down here, what are we going to have? Is that what you guys got? Okay, wonderful. Okay, so what do we know about this? Normally, we would have to um, uh, use the quadratic formula here, okay? But we're going to invoke the 5% rule, okay? So instead of having 0.12 minus x, because we know this is a very weak acid, so Ka is not going to go to that way for any appreciable extent, okay? So we can effectively erase that like that. That's going to be our equilibrium concentration. Is everybody okay with me doing that? Okay, wonderful. So, what we're going to do now, right, is, well, we know some other things. We know the um, pH of this solution, right? So let's figure out what the H3O concentration is. So what is that? How do we figure that out from the pH? 10 to the negative 2.62. Right. So let's figure that out. My calculator is somewhere. Okay, so let's 
job guys. Should, are there any questions on this one before we kill it? Yeah. When do you do uh, HDO? Like, how do you get uh, 2.4 times 10 to the negative 3? Well, because I figured out the pH over there. The, so once you, I so, just don't get how you can plug it in under uh, the C6H5C. Well, okay. So that's a good question. What is X equal? Is X equal X? Yeah, so x equals x, so those two things oh, okay. equal each other, okay? So it's just like 1 equals 1, okay? So that's how you did it. The only weird thing, and it's really not weird, because remember we talked about the 5% rule, is erasing that other thing. Yeah. You know? But if you can try, in fact, it's a good exercise to plug x in for that and see if you get a different answer than this. I would be willing to bet that you don't get a different answer to two significant figures. Okay. Okay, but it's a good question. Okay. Any other questions about that? And or anything? Okay, wonderful. 